Hey guys, we're Carmen and Duros and today we met at Baro Studio to try out all the different flavors of Augustine treble strings. As classical guitarists, we know it can be really difficult to find the type of strings for your instrument that is just right and can also emphasize the quality of your instrument as well as your playing. We always seem to be chasing that perfect sound and with this video we really hope we can help you choose the perfect set of Augustine strings for you and your guitar. trying out four different treble string models Classic, Imperial, Regal and Paragon Classic sets are the original Augustine strings the ones Segovia played Imperial and Regal sets have all of the familiar luxurious attributes but with modern enhancements that allow the player to push their performance to new heights The newest set, Paragon, has the benefits of carbon strings such as high volume and good projection but also has this unique organic warmth of the sound that we were only used to getting with nylon strings before. Okay, so let's get to it. The guitar we'll be using today is a handmade classical spruce double top guitar by the German luthier Dieter Müller, built in 2018. We'll be trying out four different kinds of Augustine treble strings, all of them on the same pieces, so you can hear even the slightest nuances of the sound and response. All of the samples will feature the same Augustine Blue High Tension basses that have the highest percentage of silver content in their class for excellent projection. But Augustine actually produces three other types of basses that you can pair with any of the treble sets you'll hear today. Thank you. 
So let's maybe start with the classic set. It was actually the first time that we played this set, we've never tried them before. And I'm curious to also know what you thought about it. The classic set was actually the big surprise of the day for me. They have this sort of a velvety, darker tone that reminds me of the old masters of older recordings. And the sound I found very charming. Vibrato is very easy to make. Mm -hmm. And it yeah, sounds definitely. actually very good. So for me, uh, for studio use, I would say this was a big surprise and I would happily use it uh, again and again uh, whenever I record um, something classical, maybe romantic. Mm -hmm. In a few words, charming, velvety and a little bit less high-end uh, frequencies as the other models. Yeah, and also from the player's perspective, I felt it was very easy to play. It's mm -hmm. very easy on the fingers. Comfortable, yeah. Yeah, very, very comfortable. Um, and yeah, as Ulor said, for you know, studio purposes, it works very, very well. Like I, I, I don't know why we haven't <laughs> tried them out before. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, let's go to the next set, Imperial. What did you think? Play I would next. have to say Imperial was my favorite one. Yeah. Because it, it kind of has... Um, it has really good projection, also very powerful and everything, but it mm -hmm. mostly it just suits my guitar best. My guitar is a double top guitar, so it's very powerful on its own, very voluminous. Um, and I feel that I, I don't need that special extra kick that maybe Regal and Paragon provide, which might be perfect for some other guitars, but I think on this guitar Imperial sounds optimal, I would say. I would definitely use it in studio, and even in concerts, if the acoustic is nice and the hall is not too big, definitely Imperial. Imperial, I would say something between Regal and Classic. It still has the, the kind of sweetness, nice sound from Classic, but it also has um, more power mm -hmm. than um, the Classic set. So the next set is Regal Blue. What yeah. did you think? This set I've been actually using for a couple of months now. So I've been using it in concerts and all sorts of in recordings also with you. Yeah. In all sorts of different situations, and I'm very happy with them. But actually, um, trying them side by side with Imperial right now, I think I will I will be using Imperial a bit because they are a bit softer, a bit easier on my fingers somehow, mm -hmm. and my guitar is still powerful enough as it is to kind of not need that super extra kick that maybe Regal mm -hmm. gives. I would, however, if I were to play in a really big hall where the acoustic is pretty bad and I would need that extra kind of kick, I would go for Regal again. I'm quite used to them and um, yeah, for such occasions or even playing chamber music with um, other instruments that are louder than guitar where you really need this mm -hmm. extra, extra kick. Which leaves us with the newest set that we also tried for the first time Paragon, today. Yeah. Paragon, yeah. yeah, exactly. What did yeah. you think? I loved it actually. For live use I think it's amazing because it has a good projection and the big pro in general of uh, carbon strings is that you get an amazing uh, balance between the basses and the trebles. Uh, so the basses are never um, overwhelmingly loud yeah, compared definitely. to the trebles. Yeah, I also noticed that. So yeah. this is the big uh, pro. Another one is that if you are playing in an um, environment with slightly worse acoustic or a big hall, you need a projection that punches through to the last row. Yeah. So yeah, in those occasions I would happily use Paragon. Um, and I was also surprised that the first string was not overly bright. Uh, because sometimes with carbon strings you get a really thin sound out yeah. of the, the first string. But in this case it was not, not like this. Uh, and I'm really happy about this. Uh, but overall, uh, for studio use, I always prefer nylon because it gives me more um, control, more colors, and better vibrato. Yeah, but as said, for big halls or for chamber music with you know louder instruments, yeah, or, uh, yeah that's that's a good option to have yeah. basically. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and we're positive you can now choose your perfect set of Augustine strings. So, which one did you like most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future.